Hello, this is Kenny Tyner, director of the Penguin Parable Hot Cocoa. I had the idea because I drank hot cocoa a lot and it was the winter time and the idea just struck me one day. So I'm just going to show you some behind the scenes look of what I've been doing. I first start off with my idea, I sketch the character, you know, get an idea for the what the feeling is going to be like and then I write down a list of events, the storyline of what's going to happen the plot. I wanted it to be loosely based on the Good Samaritan story in the Bible and I also drew some rough scenes for the film. For the igloo I basically took a bowl and formed cardboard over it and then covered that with clay and then covered the clay with uh, styrofoam blocks and then to make it look like there was light coming from the igloo inserted a flashlight in the back into a hole and then it shines through the window through a uh, tissue paper and there's the storyboard basically you want to know what you're doing when you're making an animated film so everything has to be planned out scene by scene it's okay to deviate sometimes but you gotta make sure you know what you're doing when you're making a film like this everything was pretty much handmade sets you know were made out of styrofoam with metal wire connected to them my sister knitted the blanket and the scarf unfortunately I never picked up the talent of knitting so one day I just asked her, Hey, Caitlin, can you do me a favor? Uh, I didn't know how to tie the scarf on his neck, so I just simply used masking tape. <laughs> you know, without making it look awkward, I didn't know how to tie it on his, onto his neck. So it's just thrown on there like that. The fire, oh, th this is my favorite thing about the film. I made this uh, chimney out of air-dry clay and cardboard, and I painted it, and it looks like a real, uh, pretty decent fireplace. The fire itself is made out of tissue paper with a LED lit from behind. Basically, my friend uh, Aaron Neely, he rigged up this red LED and connected it to a battery. So it animated the scene with the uh, fireplace. I, For every two frames or so, I replaced the uh, one flame with the next flame. There were three different flames being animated. So I was really happy with the result that the fire not necessarily looked realistic, but artistic and kind of abstract but you still understood what it was okay now let's start animating uh, you need to make it look atmospheric so you turn on the lights I used a blue fluorescent for the main light the key light I suppose and for the backlight I just left the lights on my, in, my, in my room then I had a disc lamp covered with a uh, purple uh, gift tissue paper I had an LED it was an LED light and it shined through the uh, purple tissue paper because it kind of gave a variety in the uh, lighting and the texture and the shades and etc. You don't really see the purple too well but that's a fine. And then I set everything up for the scene. I have the penguins in their position. I have pretty much everything set. The foreground, background, uh, midground. And here I am animating. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with the stop motion process, basically you move the character slightly, take a picture, move the character slightly again, and take another picture. And then when you put the pictures together on the computer, it makes it look like the character is moving by himself. This is a fairly tedious process. If only I can animate this fast. I don't use tie downs, and so that's why the puppet keeps falling over a lot. I don't feel very comfortable trailing holes into my grandfather's drafting table. The animation process, although it's tedious, I enjoy it, and it's fun. It's one of the most fun things I do at college, as a matter of fact. People are always impressed when they come by and they see me working on something, they're like, whoa, that's so cool. Anyway, as you can see how I'm animating this, uh, you can kind of see how the movie time interacts with the real time. You can see the how the character looks like it's actually moving as it would in the movie, but at the same time you see me touching it and adjusting it for each individual snapshot. Uh, I don't use any additional software when I'm creating stop motion. Basically I connect the camera to my television set with an aux cable, and then I base my references off the television set. So anyway, once the animation process is finished, you uh, put it on the computer, have it run at a good frame rate, you uh, edit it by adding sound effects, music, and titles, and then you get something like Hot Cocoa, a Penguin Parable. I hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look for the film, and I want to thank you for watching.